Hello, my name is Lance Evans. I'm a superintendent of the New Albany School District. Over the course of this pandemic, we have had to make lots of changes. Uh, and, the, and the one thing we've always kept in mind during this process is making the changes that were best for our students and our employees and our community. So we have a survey that's gonna go out today. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is encourage you, please, please take this survey. The survey is gonna provide the school district with a multitude of information that allows us to plan and we're to, the, uh, to a very critical point uh, in, in getting some of the planning pieces done that actually goes down to an individual student by student level. So in the couple of things that will be included in the survey is one, we're going to make sure that to gain uh, access to the information as to whether or not you want your child to come back virtually or in person. We do have that virtual option. It will be very similar to the virtual uh, educational experience that your students had uh, from March on to the end of the year. Some of the differences will be uh, your students, if they are virtual students, will be held to the very same grading and instructional expectations as in-person students. They'll be required to be logged in to each of their classes. We will take attendance just like you normally would uh, if you were an, uh, an in-class student. We also need to know uh, the individual name of your child or your children. Uh, what, we'll, what we're asking you to do is in the survey, uh, you'll have, so if you have three, ch three children, you'll need to take the survey three different times. This will allow the principals access to the information uh, so that they can actually get in contact with you to make sure that you have all the supplies that you need uh, to make your virtual experience a positive experience will allow you to change your uh, change your mind from an in-person to a virtual or a virtual to an in-person uh, setting one time. Uh, so we will not be going back and forth week by week as to what you uh, what, uh, what you think might be best. Uh, so we need you to make that decision and we really need you to stick with that decision as much as possible. I understand situations arise and things happen. Uh, that make that very difficult. We are going to allow our virtual students to participate in athletics. Uh, that will look very similar to what it does now. One of the differences uh, would be, of obviously the virtual piece is a difference, but all virtual students, like I said earlier, will be required to be in class each day. If they're not, it will be considered an absence uh, in that class or for that day. Um, and um, you know we'll deal with that just like we always have in our school district. For those students that are, that participate in a, uh, athletics, extracurricular activities, uh, or activities themselves, whether it be um, baseball, football, basketball, ROTC, chorus, band, all of these students that are virtual students will be held to that very same level of expectations uh, as all of our in-person students. So please make sure that you have your student, excuse me, please make sure that you take the survey for your, uh, for your children uh, to ensure that we have that information that we need to have uh, so that we can contact you and make those decisions. Uh, it's depending on the percentages and the numbers of virtual students, it causes the school district to have to make some changes and to, uh, to adapt to some of the needs of our community. Something that's very important that I want to encourage you to do is make sure you read all the information at the top of the survey. Uh, it is, it's not lengthy, but it is full of information that you need in order to fill out the survey appropriately to ensure that we get the information that will in turn ensure that you have a good virtual experience or in-person experience at the beginning of the school year. One last thing is, I know this may sound different than uh, how we normally operate, but we're doing a big campaign to encourage your child not to ride the bus to school. The fewer the number of students that we have uh, riding the bus, the easier it is for us to social distance on the bus. And that is very important. We will actually sit your children by family groups on the bus. Uh, but again, if at all possible, please drop your children off at school each day uh, to ensure that, like I said earlier, we have that option to social distance on the buses. If you have any questions, please feel free to call your uh, principals at the individual schools. Uh, thank you very much.